always thought of other people before himself and uh, he has really been a, a loud voice in this community for so many different charities and a uh, very selfless man and my partner and my best friend. Co-workers of a well-known bar owner reeling tonight. Police found Mike Darby dead on a notorious Kansas City trail. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez working on this developing story for us. He joins us live now from Indian Creek Trail. Andres? Mike, police say that the co-owner was walking his dogs when he was murdered. His death marks the 44th homicide of this year and the latest violent incident on this trail. A simple note at coach's front door let patrons know its co-owner Mark Darby was a victim of a senseless crime. He was a force and uh, it's going to be really lonely. Police say around 630 this morning a man riding his bike along the Indian Creek Trail spotted Darby's body. His two dogs were found nearby. Very upsetting when you've already seen this guy walk his dogs almost every day. I had no idea. I've never heard anything like that happen around here. But this portion of the trail is notorious to law enforcement. In the fall, there were a rash of stabbings among the homeless that used the bridge at 103rd and Warnell for shelter. Then in late February, someone killed David Lennox in the parking lot of the Willow Creek apartments that are directly behind today's crime scene. At the time of his murder, Lennox was also walking his dogs. The circumstances are extremely comparable, and uh, it's just a tragedy all the way around for, for everybody who has to go through something like this. Despite Lennox's children offering a $12,000 reward for tips, their father's murder remains unsolved. Mike Lennox's son knows there's a long journey ahead for the Darby family. Thing you can do to bring back your dad, um, but what you can do is try to give your dad some justice, and, and we won't stop until, um, until we get some justice for our dad. And now tonight, police are working to track down a description of the suspect or suspects in this case. If you know anything about this murder, go ahead and call police or the Crime Stoppers hotline. That number, 816-474-TIPS. Reporting live in South Kansas City tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.